on the farm is hard but honest work. But in common ground world, we farm for a greater cause. Saving the planet one soil patch at a time. Build an eco-friendly town, leveraging regenerative agriculture and recover valuable soil. Compete in weekly competitions to earn great prizes. Get rewarded for helping to support our ecosystem and your fellow farmers. Eager to learn more? Well, head on over to Gala Games and start playing now. Hey. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Hey, Riant. Hey, Farmer Michelle. Hey, Valkun. How are y'all? Good. Happy I'm Friday. Ready. Happy, Happy Friday, Friday, everyone. Well, let's see who we got in Discord. Um, Edie Lugs, Drew PH, Hefe Sailor, Vulture, Dubstep. Got a message from Time Machine. The Captain Ives. So great to see you guys again. Uh, welcome. This is our February 23rd town hall. And we've been doing this uh, weekly since July of last year. Uh, no, sorry, actually 2022. Yep. Right? It's been so a while. year and a half. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I said last year. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we'd just like to meet and uh, talk to everybody and give you game updates, answer questions. We have a form that you can fill out ahead of time where you can ask us live. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to click like and subscribe so you don't have to wonder when we're going live. And it helps if you have notifications on as well. And let's see. We have, I hope you liked our little promo video. I think it's so cute. And um, thank you, Paul, for playing that for us. And we have some hellos to say. We got Postman, Enderain. What else we got here? Somebody whose name matches the background color of Discord. <laughs> <laughs> That's Camera. Mar <laughs> <laughs> Martin. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, okay, well, um, let's get started. We have a link, uh, I think, that Michelle sends out every week, right? For where these questions, if you want to send us a question in the middle of the week. There it oh, is. She right just shared chat. it. Math Bazinga. Hello to you, too. <laughs> I get so nervous saying people's names out loud. It's I'm always <laughs> worried it's a trick. Right. Um, <laughs> okay. Dula. Um, all right, well, let's jump straight into headlines. We got for rewards, Michelle. Uh, rewards for the Valentine's card competition just went out. So, like yesterday or the day before, probably. Z the rewards for that last sprint also went out this week. So, everybody got those Valentine's stands. So, we are all caught up with rewards currently. Nice. Um, normally, we have a ninja surprise here to tell us about Zeely. Uh, he's out today. So, I have a new link right there. Do you want me to share it or you want to share that? I can share it. Okay. Two new quests, I guess, to try out? Must be. Bam. That's fun. Hey, Aluya. Happy Friday. Um, also got a message from Stan. He's working on something tool. And Rasta Kip, he's working on something tool. Um, you know, we, we can't really promote people's stuff, but I can definitely say that if they share it in our CGW discussion channel, you should probably check it out. Yeah, we've got some awesome community members who put in a ton of work to make our community better. We appreciate it a lot. All right. Well, how about some game updates? Let's do it. All right. Uh, features. If you haven't been listening for the past, uh, I don't know, six or seven weeks, uh, we're still working on guilds. Our prediction was it'd be about uh, about the first quarter to get all that done. And that's uh, going along well. Uh, progress is going well. Um, this week, this past week of development, well, we had Monday off. Some of the U.S. devs did, but 
still got the library work out of the way. So the owner of a guild can force the return of an NFT, um, even if somebody's using it. And they will see that NFT that they borrowed from the guild, poof, out of their town uh, or out of their inventory. Um, same as if you had traded it on crypto. Uh, if you are new to the guild's concept that we're adding here, I, I want to say it again. Uh, when you stuff your NFT into a guild, when you put it in the library, it is not uh, a chain transaction. It's pure game database. So you're not transferring ownership. I just want to be really clear on that. So there's no fees. You don't lose your property, whatever. It's it's a pure gameplay feature. So when I say forcing the return of an NFT, uh, that is that's how you know that it's obviously not you know some chain operation because you can't force somebody to trade you stuff they don't want to. Uh, other feature removing. Uh, so like if you're the owner, or eventually if you're somebody else that put a NFT in the guild library and you're like, you know what? I don't want to people to play with this toy anymore. I'm going to take it back. You can do that. And uh, some of the messaging and prompts around checking one out when you're going to check one out, of course you need messaging saying like, Hey, this is, you know, available to use or it's not available. That sort of stuff. Uh, <laughs> Nine T2 shadow. It, it, it has started now, my friend. Uh, <laughs> subscribe on the YouTubes. <laughs> So you'll know, or just uh, read our chat there. Let's see, uh, back to guild stuff. Yeah, so leaving a guild, check out an NFT, prompts on that, some uh, fixes and coordination between our back end and our front end drives. Um, it's going really, really well, I think. it. You know, the code base is pretty stable and robust at this point. So adding these kind of features is uh, relatively straightforward. And the back end drives have mostly been working on APIs. Now, Frostkip or others who are interested in APIs, other devs um, are listening, then yes, thank you, Dash Riprock, <laughs> for your countdown timer. Uh, the <laughs> anyway, so our API, although we haven't exposed it publicly yet, um, that is something that we, every time we make an API endpoint, we are thinking about. Who all is going to be able to access this? Is it game only? Is it admin? Or is it possibly public facing? Because we know at some point we want to provide you guys with a ability to use our APIs. Get your town, get the leaderboard, whatever. Uh, other development work over the past week. Anti-cheat. Uh, there were a couple ones that came up over the weekend. And, uh, oh, good. Somebody's excited about the API. And, um, yeah. So I can't say too much about like what these anti-cheat things we do are, um, but we believe us, we look at it every day and prioritize accordingly. So uh, as always, check the um, announcements, the release notes for all of our latest fixes. This week, it's mostly been uh, data fixes. So that is game updates. Let's see. I uh, don't think we missed any. Don't make the guild leader mad. Okay. Or somebody can ruin my Midtown comp. You know, that's an interesting question. Um, so the captain is saying, well, what if I'm relying on an NFT that, uh, you know, I need for my build and then the guild owner takes it back? I don't know. That's a social question, isn't it? All right. Yeah, so Q I imagine that's something you'd have to talk to whoever you're lending the NFT from. I mean, it, it does belong to them. So, yep. Yep. Let's see. Q and A. Let's, Let's go. Into that. Yeah, first question I got here says, "Play to earn when?" Question Later. mark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, our daily challenges uh, coming back on after the end of or at the end of Q two, right? So that's when yes. we're doing that kind of a wreck. But if you want to earn some stuff, you could always play in a competition. There's. You play the competition, you earn the art, well, earn the winnings. So you yeah, can do that today. Those free NFTs every month. We got the one for playing 10 days and one for playing 25 days every month, as long as you've made a certain amount of sales. And then free ones for node owners, too. That's a good point. Sounds like there's a lot of ways to earn. 
And there's also the Zilly rewards. Yep. Right. That's a way to earn too. Man. You got plenty of options. Hmm. Uh, next one is for you, Michelle. Hey, when to consider changing the competition date to Fridays? <laughs> I feel like we get this question every single week, and I'm, I'm surprised how often it comes up during these town halls since it's in the poll and the, you know, we take a vote and people continue to choose Tuesday at noon as the most popular option. Mm -hmm. So I, that's, you know, we don't make that decision. You all make that decision. So that that's the answer, I guess. <laughs> if you all want it changed to Friday, gather up your friends and vote for Friday. Sounds good. The next question is about, um, as a community, can we, and then it's a very long question, it's basically asking, uh, do you guys analyze the competitions when they're over? And the answer is yes. Um, we have to give out rewards, we have to run reports, and we look at all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, there is a stars and cash analysis on those competitions. Reant himself here is... Uh, the one that is our report genius and right yeah those we, numbers. we always make sure that um all the the winners comply with uh they are not cheating they are not uh, glitching the game to get higher positions before sending the rewards well the, we always try to make sure it's fair nice yeah and it's hard right with any online game especially a competitive yeah. one uh to do, do, do next one is can we have I a test it? event oh yeah. all right may we have the test event towns provided when the game update happens why is there a one day wait for those to become available this would be especially helpful for players on the other side of the planet being half a day or more ahead of usa time hmm. yeah well that was a so having them start on saturdays was not a uh, gameplay decision it was more of a process decision what i mean by that is we do a release on friday there's always the possibility well one it's bad luck to release on fridays but we do it anyway and uh, there's always the possibility that something will go wrong we don't want to be pushing out hot fixes and bug fixes and whatever all day friday and interfering with your game should that ever happen so like let's give us the you know room and just started on Saturday, so people aren't doubly mad. Uh, and that's really it, honestly. So some of that would be fixed uh, with blue-green deploys, um, which is something that our, our back-end lead is architecting and working on a bit. So don't want to get into that too much, but uh, that would help alleviate that. Well, the next question says, can we add a sold column in the production monitor? This would help keep track of overproduction per hour and truly being able to squeeze everything out of mm. the build. Yeah, that, that one comes up a lot. Uh, that's definitely in our feature backlog. I think I made the ticket myself. And yeah, that would be valuable. So let's see. Next one is for Reant. Will there ever be an ice sculpture meta? Well, that's a really interesting concept. I've been thinking about it. I really like when users share ideas on what kind of new competitions, new NFTs or new crafts or buildings they would like to see in the game. About this one in particular, I'm trying to think what the, the recipe of its crafts will be like ice blocks and what else? Maybe tools. Uh, we're trying to introduce monthly concepts like we saw in January with coffee and eco paper now in February. Uh, so please let me know what kind of concepts you would like to see in game, what kind of buildings or uh, new crafts you would like to see in game. It's great when users share what, how would they run the game and and create new concepts with it. So thank mm -hmm. you for the question. Dr. Heggy says maybe the competition is just 48 hours. It's funny how the pendulum swings back and forth, right? Like we make it short, they want it longer. We make it longer, they want it shorter. <laughs> yeah, well, we did. I think people got, was it this May Mayhem? Maybe it was last May Mayhem where we did different length competitions every week to try to see what people wanted and then did a vote at the end. And 72 hours was what won that one. And I think that that's why people continue to vote 72 hours because we did a couple of 24 hour ones. We did some 48 hour ones. We did a couple of like seven day ones. 
and then let people choose at the end what time frame they liked best. Yeah. Ooh, Postman's got the noir hero. <laughs> no, that does not mean that you win the ice sculpture <laughs> competition automatically. It is I a beautiful NFT, yeah. though. Yeah. I have, I have a, I don't have the real one, but I have one in the, our test towns. <laughs> Use it all the time. Let's see. Uh, the captain says, I would like to see all bugs fixed before adding anything new. Yeah, it's, it's a hard balance, man. You know, me personally, I'm, I'm a completionist and I love to check all the boxes and, and all that. That's just my personality. And, um, you know, balancing features versus old promises that we made. Some of these promises years old uh, versus bug fixes. It's it's a hard call. So, yeah. What a chat run away with the postman's discussion about the ice sculpture. I don't see too many live questions today, though. No, not really. I see the mention of the, the panner bug, which we are definitely working on. It is a high priority. So as soon as we get it fixed, you guys will know. Mm -hmm. Any other live questions before we move on? Uh, Bazinga Panner Brothers bug is getting fixed today. Nope, not today. All right. Oh, man, I see some images showing up in our week section, but we're not there yet. Now it's time. <laughs> Let's see. Live <laughs> feedback. Live... Oh, maybe it is leaks time. Is it leaks time? Leaks time. It might be. <laughs> if I drop these images in the chat, I don't know. Uh, Riant, do you want to talk about them at all? or? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Sweet. Let me throw some oh, in the man. chat i'm so excited let's show it all right here you go say hi to the great pernice your new best friend <laughs> uh, it's a new nft concept that we have been working on um we're trying to always introduce new ideas um on what is interesting to the game in value, right? And we thought, okay, maybe some uh, town folk would be interesting. Uh, a cute dog walking around your town, giving a, a special ability that could help you in your competitions. Um, and we are really excited to uh, to show it for, for the first time now, the Great Pyrenees. We are thinking how to name it. We want to have a name for the puppy. And we want to let you decide on it. We have not really decided on how to do it, but uh, we, of course, want to have a name for the puppy. So say hi to the Great Pyrenees, and we will let you know when, uh, when you can get it. It's so cute. <laughs> Parkrun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Parkrun. Spike. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good names. <laughs> Nigel. Steve. Great idea, Ripper. Probably McBoldface. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we, um, we don't want a McBoldface situation, of course. Boaty hey. McBoldface. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Doggy McDog face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't know. Actually, let me ask you a live question, um, Riant. So this is uh, the the vision for this one is it would be some kind of card. It doesn't take up any town space, right? So it'd be like a skin. Right. But the dog would still walk around in your town. Yeah, it actually has animations. Okay. It, so it'd it, be like the style and ride or something. Correct. That's the concept. Yeah, okay. and give uh, a global ability, which is TBD. 
Okay, so some mm-hmm. kind of global ability affects the whole town. Puppy Correct. wanders. Correct. That's cool. And is this something that you see being later in the year when we level up NFTs? Something that would level up? Oh, the... absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I, I, um, I think I wouldn't like to delay bringing this puppy live because of waiting of um, upgradable NFTs. Uh, but eventually, when we get that, they will absolutely be able to be leveled up. Mm. But the, the great Peronis, I uh, would really like to see it soon in the store. So I wouldn't wait for it. But eventually, when we have the ability, we will, of course, want to do it. Oh, you know, why didn't I think about as as somebody who's had dogs his whole life? I, why didn't I think about what everybody's saying? Why don't we name our pets in the game our companions each one to name their own parents yeah. that's an interesting concept that's yeah. interesting yeah i mean he'd come out of the box with his you know adoption center name but cool idea okay i would love them uh, users to be able to name it well let's see competition info what do you say farmer michelle yeah, this next week's competition is lasagna. We did change the lasagna recipe. It used to be two cheese, two pasta sauce, and an egg, which was a bit weird. That's not how I would make lasagna. Uh, so <laughs> we added a, we so added weird. more cheese and we added flour, so that it at least is uh, more like what pasta would be like. So there, there is some pasta in there, kind of now, closer than there was before. <clears throat> so now it's three cheese, two pe- two pasta sauce, three flour, and an egg. Uh, that biome is forest to north. Uh, the edges are forest to the north, uh, river to the east, ocean to the south, and another river to the west. Let me put that in the chat so everybody can see it. Uh, this is uh, standard one gas for trades, but it's 120 seconds trade time for a standard trade depot and 60 seconds for an express depot. Regular gala rewards for the top 1,200. No ghost card or blueprint or anything this week. And that's it. Uh, white rice is cash boosted. I didn't put up any pictures of the starter talents. So you all have to wait until it goes live. It's It's got a lot of stuff in it this week, so you'll see it when it goes live. Uh, white rice is going to be boosted from 1,700 to 4,500, and the lasagna is going to be star boosted. Jam is still cash boosted also at 60,000. And then silver and bracelets are returning back to their standard values. That is all that I've got for competition info. Man. Uh, any chance I can win this one? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Not against you guys, but it's fun. Um, if Stan, if you're listening, will you post your thing? We can't really post it to endorse it, but I'm playing around with your builder and would love to see what people think about that. That's exciting, Michelle. Thank you for sharing that. Um, Riant, do you yeah. want to talk about our sale? Absolutely. The, within three hours from now, uh, at 11 a.m. Uh, PST, the Nona Stratoria will hit the store. What's the Nona Stratoria? Nona Stratoria means in Italian, um, grandmother's restaurant. So this new NFT... Uh, we'll give a 2-1 passive tomato to surrounding tiles. It's a passive NFT. Also, a 30% decrease in craft timers in the sauce facility directly adjacent to it, right? No row requires, casts no negative proximities, and it will uh, cost uh, $350. Um, it's an epic NFT. So it will help a lot in the lasagna competition to bring up the uh, tomato pasta paste um, sauce. Yeah, the pasta sauce. That's a, that's it. Passive tomatoes are really going to come in handy with a bunch of different stuff too. They uh, for let's see pasta sauce or tomato paste and for four cheese pizza. So it may come in handy for other events down the line as well. Is this one? I see someone asking if there's a discount. No, there's not a discount. I 
think that's all we've got for sale information. Does anyone have any other live questions? We must have talked really fast this week. Not fast enough to defeat the garbage truck that goes by my oh, no. house every, every AMA. <laughs> <laughs> Bad timing. I don't see any other live questions. Has everyone out there been taking our uh, community survey for the quarter? I hope so. Let me post a link to it in the chat just in case anyone hasn't taken it yet. Oh, I see a bright wing, uh, wing question. Um, we have found some difficulties bringing up back to the store. We are working on it. We will let you know in advance when we uh, we'll be able to release them. Any other live questions out there? Where are the questions, LV Postman? We've answered every question. I see the question open to active players first. I'm not quite sure what that question is referring to. I see another question that says, why more beacons? There aren't any more beacons. Uh, there are also not any more Hanks to sell. Those have already all sold out. I see people asking for more info on the bug. Like I keep saying, uh, the, the team is working on it. That's really all that we know right now. I see Madukari is asking when the leaderboard is going to start updating itself automatically. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, that's a ways off. That's part of our um, improved uh, backend thing. So nice things like that have to come after uh, the promises that we've made in the past, like earning and upgradable NFTs. Yeah, so I'd imagine Q4 or later. I see LV Postman is asking about the Brightwind sale again, which we've already talked about a couple of times. Um, I, there's not really a way to limit the sale to only active players. There's there's really just no way to do that in the store. It's just it's not possible. Uh, the store doesn't track like how often people play the game and then only limit it that way. I see people asking if we're going to continue to run the competition if the bug is not fixed. I'd imagine that we will, but I don't have a direct answer. That's something we have to ask people more important than myself. Yeah, that's your proc. What happened to TS nodes being used to keep the leaderboard updated? Still the plan. The nodes running... Um, yeah, fast forward is definitely a cost reduction and utility feature that we want to add. Our um, first step, of course, is getting the nodes converted to NFTs so we can use them in features like guilds and then improving our node. Um, I don't know what you'd call it, maybe awareness or just the tech we have around working with nodes. And then uh, really the biggest hurdle on that one is a consensus layer. You can imagine if a town is being fast forwarded, you don't want just one node 
to provide the answer, right? So don't need consensus layer and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of planning has gone into that. Um, it's just try to be uh, prioritized like everything else. LV Postman, I don't believe we can limit them per account. What we can do is limit them per transaction. That might slow the sale down if you think that all 100 of them are going to sell out in a half a second. That's something we would have to decide as a team. And we'll let you know. It'll be an announcement before the sale goes live. We make foundries less smoky. I can't see my town. Huh. They they do put out a lot of smoke. I suppose we could look at trying to make that more transparent, maybe. That's something we'd have to ask the art team. Yeah, that's interesting. Dr. Heggie, um, talking about Silver Forge. Is that really very overpowered, though? I mean, it, it produces stuff, but... I mean, it, it only makes silver, so it's not... Silver is not like a high star, high cash value item. It's basically like using a legendary wheat stand for your windmills. Mm -hmm. It's really not any different than that. I'm not seeing too many other urgent questions here. I think we're about done for the week. What do you all say? Yeah, I don't see any other questions. Just people talking about gameplay stuff. Seems a lot of people think that silver is overpowered now. Hmm. Though I know for sure that if we were to change silver to require more silver ore, it would be a riot in the chat. <laughs> and everybody would say that we nerfed their NFTs and they would be super mad. So. When frozen wine. I've never had frozen wine before. Though I have heard of wine slushies. All right, I don't see any other questions, so we can probably head back to work. All right. Let's do it. Everybody have a wonderful weekend. It's been great hanging out with you. Yeah, happy Friday. Yes, have a great weekend. Make sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel and turn on notifications. And with that, I'll see you later.